Jeremy, so this is the area where we do our coolant and fuel testing. Which area do you want to start with? You know, let's start with coolants. Um, with coolants, is it really necessary to do the analysis since it's not changed that often? Well, that's exactly why you should be checking, because if it's not checked that often, you could miss a significant problem. And issues with the cooling system can have significant effects on your hydraulic system, transmissions, and other equipment components. So I can see how that could cause an issue, but how often does that really happen? Well, with today's heavy-duty engines, they have to produce a lot of power from a small package, and cooling um, systems must be able to absorb that. Did you know that about 50% of diesel engine failures can be traced back to a poorly maintained cooling system? I had no idea. What are you looking for with coolant analysis? Coolant testing is an easy check to determine whether your coolant has the right chemical balance for maximum system protection and cooling efficiency. We offer two levels of testing for coolant. So two levels, tell me about those. Well, the first level of coolant testing is a routine check of things like coolant type, freeze and boil protection, coolant condition, and coolant contamination. So it sounds like coolant testing is as, as involved as the oil testing, but that was only the first level. Tell me about the second one now. Oh, well, I'm glad you asked. The level two testing includes all of the tests in a level one, but also has additional categories like water quality and a more intensive look at coolant composition and chemistries. Okay, so level one is more like going in for routine checkups and then the level two is going in for specialized screenings. Exactly, you got it. So make sure that you send in all of your coolant samples on time so we can help manage your equipment effectively.